Hey, it's Big E here. Uh, I wanted to take time to sit down and talk with you guys. I've been doing a lot of technical videos on my channel and uh, just doing, in, in my opinion, some of it is some in-depth stuff. So I didn't have a chance to really uh, talk with you guys and give like an update, shop update, project update, race update, uh, just an update in general as to what's going on in the shop at Big E's. Um, it's been busy, uh, and some of that I want to credit uh, you guys for. Um, I want to give a, a shout out to Carlos, uh, who kind of taught me into doing this, uh, starting a YouTube channel. Um, it has forced me to grow uh, personally and in my knowledge of the automotive stuff that um, I knew, and also it stretched me to learn certain things. Um, and I'm sure some of the stuff you've picked up in the videos that I've done where I'm just learning it and the stuff that I know how to do. Uh, for instance, welding. Um, I haven't done welding since high school. Um, <clears throat> uh, as of now, I'm 45, so you figure that's how many years. So I'm actually getting back to uh, bought a welder, and I'm actually learning with each small project that I do. Um, and I wanted to keep learning in that. Um, another prime example of something where I really had to stretch myself was uh, the videos we did with the Trainwreck F250 this year. Uh, everything from cutting out the rust, putting in the panels, doing the bodywork, um, and then learning how to spray and mix paint and spray automotive paint and stuff like that. I learned a ton and I've had a lot of good people to uh, guide me along the way to teach me and just let me do stuff. So to, the, to that was a big learning experience and I kind of stretched myself with that. Uh, so I would say as far as learning stuff, for me those were the two big things was the welding, which I'm still learning, painting, I'm still going to learn too, you know, and those are the two big things. And like, you know, there's, there's quite a few videos uh, with the train wreck. Um, doing body work and wet sanding, painting, uh, metal work, that kind of stuff. So that was that was a big learning um, thing for me. And I just wanted to make sure I got everything uh, learned as much as I could before I put the video together um, to uh, make sure that my content that I'm giving you guys is as accurate as it can be because, I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, you want to go out in your garage, you want to be able to do this stuff and get results that you're going to be happy with not just like oh well that didn't work you know because then you get disappointed so uh so we we put out quite a few videos this year and i i think that that 2019 was good as far as that um and project update um basically train wreck is done for now uh other than just basic stuff uh i think next year um, we're going to do maybe a video or two. Um, I want to see how those roll on um, bed liner uh, where it comes in a can. I wonder how good those are. I'm going to look into that, maybe do a video or two of applying that on the train wreck. Uh, so that way the bed's all protected. Um, shop truck, basically, we wet sanded it, we buffed it, we waxed it. We put a new set of we put a, a set of 22 inch uh, chrome wheels on it. We put we wrapped the wheels with some 305 45 22s, and uh, it really m made the truck stand out. We put other uh, halo projector headlights also in shop truck. Uh, so and we put LEDs uh, in the fog lights. So it really helps for night vision and stuff like that. So. Um, also, probably we'll soon be putting the stock wheels back on that and getting that ready for winter and, and the weather that's going to come with that. Uh, as far as racing, uh, this year, we it it sucked this year. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Racing sucked this year. Did horribly, I think. We learned a lot, but we did horrible. Um, I think we got out with everything going on. Maybe only four times we got the, the turd out. And um, it lived up to its name. Uh, first time out, I think we had we had a starter issue uh, with that, which caused a spot on the um, the flex plate, uh, which I'm still battling. So, brought so we made I think what one pass. So we came home, 
put another starter in it. So went there, did that, took it to the track. I'm trying to remember what happened. Something happened again. Uh, I forget, was it starter related or was it electrical? I forget if it, that was... Anyway, we had some sort of electrical issue again with the car. We couldn't even make a pass. Total waste of freaking time. Trailering down there and coming back home, unloading the car, trying to... Oh, let's, you know, basically push the car on the trailer like three times out of four with this whole season. Um, and then, so I think we, we fixed that up. With this, with the starter, we wrapped it in a um, a thermo shield blanket type of deal. So we put that on, and uh, we addressed some other demons that we foresaw that was going to be a deal. So we took it to the track. What does it do? Yep, the freaking uh, wiring for the neutral safety switch, which engages the starter. There was something in the wiring. I don't know if a solder let loose. What happened? But. Anyway, it was under dash. Couldn't fix it at the track because I couldn't find it. I had to push the car on the trailer again. And uh, so now we re then went till we found it. We took it apart, resoldered it, redid everything. Okay, so that's somewhat working. Okay. Typical problem was the shifter all year. We kept battling it, battling, battling, because there's a, a hardened steel piece that screws into the aluminum body of the shifter where you actually shift is the aluminum piece. Well, there's a piece that screws in, and then the cable comes up. It slides over that, and it has a share-off pin that goes on the end of it. And that's what holds the, the, the cable to the shifter, which is going to you know, help it select the gears. Well, that was stripped out. So we were battling that. I tried JB Weld. I tried regular epoxy. Got to the point, the only thing we did was we put, like, two zip ties on it. So we got that somewhat working I knew it would had had to be axed but it was just one of those I wanted to get the car out one last time to see if we can make a full pass with it with with, with this motor uh, being redone uh, needless to say now the neutral safety switch comes apart when you go into third gear the, the the slider piece just drops right down so now we have an issue with that. So I'm playing around with that. So the last time out, we're playing around, trying to get it to start. We get it to work. We drive the car up to the to the staging lanes. And for once, we fix it. Well, we, I don't know. I, I posted something on Biggie's uh, Drag Specialties uh, Facebook page. found five vacuum leaks. So we had taken care of those. So luckily, because of that, with the vacuum leaks taken care of, I was able to have the car idling in the staging lanes, in gear, with my foot on a brake, and she just idled. She didn't surge. She wasn't trying to stall. She just idled nicely at about 800 to 1,000 RPM. And I was able to get my, my jacket on, my belts on, my helmet on, all that stuff. So that was, that was, that was, you know you're having a bad year when that's a high point, just the car idling in gear and not giving you the, the business. But if anybody who, ran, who runs knows, when you're fighting a car, it messes you up and you can't concentrate on your driving. So... We get that was a positive. So then, needless to say, we roll up. They rushed us through because like two cars blew up, so we lost an hour and fifteen minutes, I think, in cleanup. So then, we find we're up there. The car stalls. Naturally, the neutral safety switch falls apart. So I'm there shuffling around. I get it together. I I'm able to get it the the starter to go. The car fires up. We put it in gear. We do the burnout. We stage. Bring the RPMs up to about three grand. Light comes down. Because of rushing around, I red light. My fault, not the car's fault. But anyway, I must have, I think I I might have bumped in too far with the car. And I'm gonna do a video on explaining bump actually showing bumping in at a later date. But anyway, I bumped in too far, red lit. When a car left, it felt really good. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be good. And all of a sudden we picked up the high RPM miss. Um that I explained in the, the, the coil video. So if you want, check those out um, with that. So with lifting three times, I mean, it's breaking up at the top of each gear. So basically I would lift, grab the gear, and put my foot right in it. We still managed to do 108 mile an hour and a quarter, and which is pretty impressive. That's the highest mile per hour I have yet with this car, uh, and that's with lifting. So we know there's power. We know the engine's making power. How much? Not quite sure. Hopefully we can get these gremlins worked out, that we can make a full pass. 
and then we know the weight of the car. We know what the ET is in a mile per hour. Then we can figure out about how much horsepower we're putting out at the flywheel. So we're trying to get that done so we can compare that with some numbers we got on a dyno as to which, you know, about where we're at. So with that being said, um, looking ahead, we're going, well, we already did the coil video. Okay, so check those two out, troubleshooting the coil, coil install. Okay, so we have a new MSD blaster coil on the LT1. So we did that. We got the fan supports welded up and welded on the car. And I ran the car yesterday. Um, I had a video up for a little bit. I was having a problem with this new camera, so it was messing up the timing. So I deleted the I deleted that particular video. I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe later today get one up using this camera because I know it's gonna work. Maybe I'll try and get something up. But anyway, so. Uh, we're going to do a shifter replace. We're going to do a sucker system. That is the breather system where you run a, two, uh, a hose from the breather that's in the valve cover. And then you weld a bung into your exhaust stream with a one-way check valve. Uh, a lot of your dragsters and stuff have that. Basically, the theory there is the vacuum from your exhaust, the, the, the exhaust stream creates a vacuum. So what this is supposed to do is take that vacuum and literally suck all the junk out of the motor. So it help, so it frees up the motor, so it runs better. It assists basically what the PCV valve is supposed to do, but in a high performance application, drag race motor or high compression, it's not quite adequate enough. So guys put these sucker systems on. So I used to have one on the Grand National. I used to drag race. I'm going to put one on here, and I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, probably, hopefully soon. I'm waiting for some uh, supplies that I ordered to show up to to be able to do that. And I'll do a video on that. Um, and then, like I said, shifter. We're going to do TPS. Uh, I'm going to replace the TPS sensor on the turd. Um, that's pretty straightforward. I think it's just two bolts and one connector. But I'll do a video on that. Um, and I'll see if there's... I don't know if there's anything else or not. But um, those are some stuff to maybe look of up, up and coming that I'm planning on doing hopefully soon. Um, I'm hoping to do... Um, I'm hoping to do that sucker system hopefully before the snow flies. So um, I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know what's going on. Things are busy here. Um, I might not might not look it, but things are crazy. Uh, throw in the fact working my real job seven days a week really doesn't leave much time. So I just want to have a chance to sit down and talk with you guys, give you an update, let you know what's going on. We're kind of where I'm kind of headed. And there's probably going to be some other stuff that if it pops in my head and I can do a video, I'll do a video on that. So uh, anyway, so that's it for today. Um, please like, please subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Uh, you can also check out my Facebook page, which is Big E's Drag Specialties. Check that out. Um, also uh, on Instagram, it's Eric Snyder 26 or if you have an idea or a question, you can email me at ericsnyder802 at gmail.com. Okay, so check me out there, okay, guys? So everybody take care. Watch out for each other. And give your kids an extra hug today, all right? Take care. We'll see you. Bye now.